everyone how you doing so I wanted to record uh, a second video this morning because there was an article that kind of I thought deserved its own really its own video because it was sort of its own talk track and I didn't want it to get lost in our daily financial update uh, and as a little icon or picture whatever they call this thing that starts uh, these YouTube videos uh, it's from Ray Dalio you know Ray Dalio Warren Buffett you know, maybe one or two more individuals, uh, when when they are cited, kind of in their title of an article, it's it's kind of clickbaity for me. It's definitely something I'm gonna I'm gonna click on. Uh, I believe, um, you know, Ray Dalio's Principles book, uh, while thick, right? It's it's a big book. It's a big book. It's um, pretty nicely done and written because he really goes back and evaluates history, which for someone who's been trying to invest in real estate, I, I often look to history to try to help me understand the current environment and the future. Uh, so I appreciated what he's done. He's also done some tremendous videos on YouTube. So type in Ray Dalio, um, like Ray Dalio Economy, and he's uh, he spent some money creating some very well done videos uh, that I've watched uh, a couple of times. Uh, and if you haven't, again, type in Ray Dalio uh, Economy. And uh, you'll see some pretty cool things. So the reason I wanted to create this video is because he's he kind of thinks we're in trouble, right? Anytime somebody references the 1930s, they're talking about the depression, and you know he's trying to throw up warning flags uh, for others to kind of pay attention. And re his opinion is that this natural growth growth cycle that we've been in is tailing off, right? It's um, you know, it needs, you know, his opinion is that it's, it's at the end and, you know, what comes next we need to be ready for. Um, you know, so specifically things that were quoted and I wrote them down as I always do. I'm a paper guy. I'm not a notes guy. So he first off says it's too late for central bank, central banks. Wow. Need more coffee to reverse the global slowdown. Right. He talks about uh, Europe going to zero. He talked about, you know, Asia, Japan specifically doing it. And he thinks the U.S. is, is on its way. Um, and he sees this as being very reminiscent of what occurred in the Depression area. He actually calls it, or he's referencing this, this environment today as the Great SAG, S-A-G. Um, and he's calling this a natural part of the growth cycle. So, you know, it's, it's something we should pay attention to and ask, ask ourselves some question. You know, what are we going to be doing? Things of that nature. He also highlights... Uh, the wealth gap uh, being a significant thing, not since the 1930s, kind of this magnitude, and it's causing political stress. And you could see it all with what's going on in the in the uh, de presidential debates or, or uh, whatever you call them. Uh, it went on to cite that the top one-tenth of one percent owns as much as the bottom 90%. I didn't verify that data, but I'm guessing Ray's not wrong. So he says that really creates the political stress. And most importantly, I think what he highlighted for me in the article that I'm going to be paying more attention to is there's four types of war, which I'm like, how can that be? Uh, he went on to explain there's obviously the trade war, right, which has been in the headlines and kind of all over this channel for a while. Uh, there's a, a currency war, which makes sense. There's a technology war, which I hadn't thought about, but get. And there's obviously the geopolitical one that we all are known, uh, all, we all follow and, and is horrific. Um, but in the end, uh, what I took from Ray Dalio's kind of article, it's on CNBC if you want to go look it up. Again, I would first tell you to go to YouTube, type in Ray Dalio Economy, uh, because those videos are pretty well done. If you want to understand the kind of person he is and the data and information he's putting out, he is really trying to help. Uh, but I, I just think it... It just, you know, he he gains nothing from putting this out there, right? He is he's he's made his he's made what he's made. He's near the end, uh, semi-retired, at least semi-retired, and you know I, I think it just should give us all pause to ask ourselves, right? If we were going to go into a slow decade of no growth, no interest rates, what should we be doing? So I you know take this weekend, think about it, um, you know, ask yourselves. What would you do, right? 
What what would what would you do if the two oh wow two thousand twenty is right around the corner right two thousand twenty to two thousand thirty was average zero percent growth just average so some years up a little some years down a little what would you do and I'm taking that from the great sag um, that Ray's uh, highlighting right he, I don't think he's calling for some cataclysmic collapse I don't see that in what I've read but again you know no growth there's there's some pain in that so what would you do. Uh, and I'm going to think about that as well and, and may come back with some ideas on Sunday or so. So in the end, I just wanted to share this. Again, Ray's one of those guys when, when an article comes out that he's quoted in, I'm going to watch. Um, he's done some great things. Again, if you want to see the book, this is his book. It's kind of meaty. It took me a month probably to read because I read at night. And uh, there's a lot there. So in the end, have a great day. Take care. I've got some exciting interviews lined up for the next couple hours. So Hopefully those are out in the afternoon. Take care. Bye.